What's going on, YouTube fam? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Um, you guys are probably wondering what's with the Dale Earnhardt Sr. at. Well, today's kind of a special day, man. This is a real special day for me because if you guys don't know, this dude right here that's on the screen, Mr. Earl Pitts, man. I grew up listening to this dude when I was a kid. Like, I literally grew up listening to this dude on the radio, man. Super funny guy. Um, I didn't know this guy had a YouTube channel until um, literally yesterday. One of my friends that I grew up with in Florida, where I first heard Earl Pitts, um, ended up sending me the link after looking for him on the internet because they knew that I listened to him as a kid before school and stuff. So I'm super excited, man. I have not heard this dude in years, man. This is going to be a throwback, dude. Like, this is going to be fun. Now, I will be doing, like, if y'all do like this kind of stuff, I will be doing this more often for sure. But I had to react to this because I've never, like, I've not heard this in years. This one in particular, I don't think I have or have, like, I don't know if I have or haven't, I'll be honest. I don't know if I've heard this one or not, but dude, oh my god. I'm, I haven't even started it yet and I'm already like, oh my god, the fucking nostalgia hit, man, oh my god. Ugh. But if y'all do like this, man, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell down below to stay up to date with everything on the channel. And with that being said, let's get this going. I'm, I'm excited here. Oh, my God. All right, not even two seconds in yet. Oh, my God, that fucking sound. That brings back memories. Oh, my God. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so mad? I won't take Stephen Hawking to a karaoke bar. <laughs> uh, Pearl's sister, Ruby, did a couple things different this year for Christmas. <laughs> I was going to tell you all about For one thing, she didn't show up at the family holiday dinner with some deadbeat job hating freeloader boyfriend introduced to the family as, as the absolute love of her life just a few days before she had him arrested at the pawn shop for stealing the urn on her mantle with her grandpa's earthly remains inside. <laughs> oh. Second off, she didn't bring her usual crocheted crap that none of us really like. Instead, she bought us what's called dot. Now, when Pearl the opened it up, I couldn't understand why the hell Ruby thought we'd want a hockey puck. <laughs> See, it's this little round rack thingamajigger. It sits on your table and tells you things. We plugged it in, found out there's a girl on the other end named Alexa. And when you ask Alexa a question, she answers. You say, Alexa, what's the weather like? And she tells you just like you've got your very own weather girl sitting on your coffee table but without the blonde hair, big eyes, and low-cut sweater. And you say, Alexa, sing me a song. Now, she ain't no dolly, but she'll crank out whatever tune stuck in her head that day. Yeah. Or you could ask her what the square root a gazillion is, and she'll rattle it right off without even taking time to, to pull up a calculator or something. Well, I tell you, I was pretty <laughs> impressed with Alexa until I got to thinking. All you got to do is say her name and ask her whatever. I mean, she or one of her co-workers is listening all the time, right? Day or night, 24-7. Now, I'm not a real private person, but I admit, I say and do things in my living room that I'd just rather not, you know, have in the ears of total strangers. I make some body noises of my own, too, that I don't care about them hearing. <laughs> and I have some intimate moments with Pearl. And when the kids are at the movies, you know, it's going to be a... For all you young kids out there, oh my god. For all you new generation kids out there, if you have not heard Earl Pitts, have your parents pull it up and watch it. This is great. <laughs> oh shit. I have not heard this in forever. Oh my god, it's good coming back and reacting. Or not like, well, not just reacting, but... Oh god. <laughs> Whew, I 
haven't heard this guy in years. Oh my god. I love this. I fucking love this. A little bit hard trying to get frisky with Pearl while Alexa's sitting right there listening and waiting to tell us the capital of Rhode Island. <laughs> Wake up. I'm Murray Cook. Remember all them stories you heard about Big Brother? Well, this here's Alexa, his little sister. I am Earl Pitcher Morrigan. Be it so. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. The RV Show USA is brought to you by Flagstaff, building better RVs. We was out camping the other day. It was Pearl, my old lady. All this commercial. Oh, my God. We got to look up another one, man. That one was way too short. We got to find another one, man. That was great. That first one we did was called Earl Meets Alexa, man. That was great. That was great. <laughs> Earl Pitts on TV Weatherman. Oh, my God. Uh, let's find one here that's actually funny as well. Filling up at the gas station. Oh, God, this ought to be a good one. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so angry? I just want to suck the juice out of the gas station squeegee. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're about to have that robbery in progress down at Gas and Go this morning. Yeah, I filled up. That's what you call highway robbery anymore. <laughs> now, I might be the only guy left on earth what likes to buy my gas the old-fashioned way, three bucks at a time. Right? And don't call me cheap neither, because used to be three bucks of gas cost me ten. Sure, once you added in a cup of coffee, or two chocolate donuts, a sausage biscuit, a package of Hostess Snowball, and two packs of smokes, hell, these prices keep going up. I'm going to look like that Allie McBeal chick, because I ain't eating nothing no more. <laughs> the way gas prices are going by next month, I'm going to be bumming. Bumming the smoke or bumming the ride. I can't afford both. <laughs> so anyhow, I don't know what come over me this morning, but I pulled in there and I filled up. And I got to tell you, I ain't used to people taking that kind of money off me without at least knocking me over the head with a pipe first. <laughs> I seen them dollar numbers spinning on that pump. I got on my knees twice to see if a gas was running out of the bottom of the tank. Twenty-seven bucks. Twenty-seven dollars for a fill-up. I wasn't Damn. even on me. <laughs> Now, I ain't one of them sky is falling, the mafia killed Kennedy conspiracy nitwits. Nah. Don't it seem kind of funny to anybody but me that... Let me go back real quick. Why does that sound like every freaking Gen Z person in America or in the world in general, dude? Like, that literally sounds like... Actually, no. That sounds like half of YouTube, man. That's like literally half the YouTube platform right there. He literally just called y'all out, man. This dude literally just called you guys out, man. He just called out half of the fucking YouTube platform. Bro, y'all just got called out by a fucking redneck. <laughs> Conspiracy nitwit. $7 for a fill-up. I wasn't even on E. Now, I ain't one of them sky is falling, the mafia killed Kennedy conspiracy nitwit. Damn. Don't it seem kind of funny to anybody but me that soon as we get two big oil bozos up in the White House, we're looking at three bucks a gallon for gas. Hello? I say something smells pretty fishy around here. And I used to like stuff that smelled fishy. <laughs> Wake up, America! Oh, that was great. Yo, hold up. He has a... Bro, I need to buy that. I need to fucking buy that book. I need to buy this. I need to find out if this is still on sale, man. I need to get my hand... I need to get a copy of this. Oh, my God. Bro... 
I swear to God, if I find this, anybody wants to know what to give me for Christmas or my birthday? This right here. That. Right there. Oh my God. Whoo. <laughs> Oh, we're going to do one more real quick for you guys. Oh, that was great. It's so good to see old stuff like this I grew up on still around. Man bun and braids. Oh, God, this ought to be a good one. Wait, hold on. SpongeBob is all right. We're going to save this one right here for later. We're gonna do this one right here. Spongebob is gay. I've gotta hear this one, dude. This actually is gonna be, this, this This ought to be good. I need to sample this. I swear to God I do. You know what makes me sick? You know what makes me so angry? I just wanna walk into a biker bar wearing a Spongebob square pants t-shirt and ask anybody if they've seen my bikini bottom. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard this yet, but SpongeBob is gay. Yeah, I heard it from them Bible thumping preacher groups I got out there. Oh God! They said SpongeBob SquarePants was a devious plot to promote homosexuality. The fuck? I ask you, what will them queer eye boys think of next? Gentlemen, your evil plot to recruit the youth of this country is over. Nice try, there, Nancy Paints. <laughs> I think I speak for clueless parents all across uh, this country when I say thank you, Dr. James Dobson, for revealing the truth, the shocking truth, about this perverted yeller sponge. And this here old boy must know what he's talking about, too, cause he's a TV preacher. You can't trust a TV preacher. Who can you trust? Except maybe Jimmy Swagger. <laughs> I believe this is the same dude what figured out Tinky Winky was gay. Remember that? That gay <laughs> Teletubby? <laughs> Let me tell you something. This Dobson boy, he got some serious gaydar going on on him cartoon. Damn. I heard he's still cogitating on Jughead and Papa Smurf and Hot Hot <laughs> I guess that episode wasn't given away. What when SpongeBob and his buddy Patrick swam to San Francisco Bay and got married? Hmm, that'll get them old warning bells a ringing. That ain't just homosexuality. That's what you call your interspecies homosexuality. It's just kind of creepy. Violates so many laws in nature. And while we're on the subject, I'd like to say SpongeBob SquarePants gay. Eh, probably. <laughs> Abraham Lincoln, definitely not gay. Yeah. Now, there's some other brain-cramped-up genius out there come out and said Abraham Lincoln was really Gabraham Lincoln. I ain't kidding about this. <laughs> oh, I'm <what>? thinking, <laughs> Abraham, well, he, he did get shot watching a play. But I do believe Abraham Lincoln was not gay. On account, he's too ugly to be gay. I mean, if he was gay, he'd been lonely gay. Wake up, America! <laughs> And besides making Abraham Lincoln gay wouldn't help a devious plot to promote homosexuality. Now you get one of them rugrats swinging both ways, then you got you a gay conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Earl Pitts, ever vigilant American. Pitts so. <laughs> That's another one I need to get right there. I need to get that. Ugh. Oh. All right, y'all, that will do it for this reaction, man. It was so great going back and revisiting something that I grew up on as a kid, man. Oh, my God. It's so good to see this man still doing amazing stuff, still being funny, man. Oh. Oh, I love it. I fucking love it, man. <laughs> Never fails to make me crack up, man. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that will do it for this episode. If you guys did like this, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell down below. Just stay up to date with everything on the channel. I'm your host, Ghost Life Sniper. 
Uh, as always, stay humble, stay positive, keep being awesome, keep being badass, keep chasing your dreams, and as always, stay ghostly, man. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.